So today I will be teaching you how to make thumbnails in DaVinci Resolve 17. We will start by bringing our clip into the timeline. We will make it one frame long. Drag the text node from the bar and attach it to the media one. Enter the text you want and customize it. I will be using lemon milk font here. Under layout type point, we will change it to circle and under rotation, we will make it to minus 90 and then we will go to transform and under rotation, we will make it to plus 90. I suggest you to use transform node to adjust the size of the text. Under the layout, we can customize things like the width and the perspective. So first we'll mask our characters. So I will be using polygon for masking. As you can see only the text inside is visible we will go and click on invert and we will just increase the soft edge we will click on the polygon and add another polygon now we can go ahead and mask our second character Once we are done with the masking, we can go and click invert and uh, we will increase the soft edge. So now as you can see, we have placed the text behind the characters. Uh, so now what we will be doing is go under the text, under the shading section, pick 2 here and enable it. You can see this brings a uh, black outline like this. Now we go under the uh, change it to black and increase the thickness and under the select element we will change it to 3 and enable the shadows. Now we will be adding some overlays. This is the first overlay that I will add. As you can see the resolution of the overlay and the image is different. So I will be using a resize node to bring it to the same resolution now i will be adding a delta key and node to remove the black part of the overlay you can also use a luma here and now i will add a cc node after the cc node we will be adding a soft glow node this step is optional I will add another overlay which is this this is how the overlay looks now we can copy all these uh, as you can see this is also in 4k so I will be copying all these nodes and paste them here Now we can change CC to say. Now we will add next overlay. We will copy all the nodes and connect it to media one. As you can see the overlay is so strong. So you can go under the merge and decrease the blend value. Now I will be adding another overlay which is this, it's a light leak. Copy the nodes, paste them here.
we can add a transform node and reposition the light leak i generally like to place it in one of the corners now i will be teaching you how to make a underline for the text you have to take a background node and attach it to the merge and under the background make the alpha 0 and then go and select a paint node now you can just click on this and you can make your line then you can pick this select the lines and shift and s to make it smooth under the brush controls we'll go and adjust the size of the outline I will be adding soft glue and CC I think the line is too thick so I will just decrease the thickness now we got that bright line we want the uh, we want the line to be behind the characters so we'll just go and attach this mask right here. as you can see the line is now behind the characters click on the merge node of the text and change the apply mode to overlay In case you want the text to blend more with the scene, you can just decrease the opacity of the text and it looks something like this. Now I will be adding a cloud image. Attach it to the merge. Uh, we will again resize and use a delta key. As you can see, uh, the image has this white part, so I'll just mask it out. Increase the soft edge, and now we'll be placing it behind the text and characters. You can increase the size and change angles. Again, we'll be attaching this mask to the cloud overlay. Under CC, we will just change the color. Let's see. I think the color is too dark, so I'll just decrease the blend. under the text you can go and under layout if you like the text to be like this you can keep it like this or you can change the degrees plus 90 here and minus 90 here and now you will be able to adjust this So once you are done with this, if you are happy with this, you can use this or another thing you can use is copy the media one and paste it here. Now we will be copying this mask here, we will ungroup it and we will Uncheck the invert from both the polygons and under the second polygon mask change the paint mode to merge instead of minimum. Now connect it to the media one. 
you can also increase the soft edges this is the final result now to export it go under the color tab click on gallery right click the image uh, go to grab still and right click this export select the file format to uh, jpeg and just select the location and save it i will link all the oldest used in this video in the description thanks for watching have a nice day